Hey everybody, welcome to MTV. Welcome back to my MLB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. And here we are for this August 11th game. It is a finale against the Nationals. It's going to be a very big game. It'll tell us if we are going to be two games in front or tied with the Nationals in NL East. Very, very pivotal game. Uh, so I decided to um, use Dallas Keuchel in this situation. Um, I want to use a lefty and... Hopefully I can uh, come out with something positive out of this and Yeah, so I'm just gonna move the lineups around a little, just a little bit um, then We're gonna put oh, I'm gonna tell Frazier to catch it. What the heck? And, I go. Let's go man. Yeah, Oh, there you go. That's a swing I needed. Got those here on a change up That's a shot by Pete Alonzo. This is gonna be Oh run, that's a 3-1 shot by Pete Alonso, and that makes things 3-0. And that is his 23rd of the year. So a three Pete Alonso, the field, rookie stud. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. He's 2 for 10 in the series coming into today. This is pulled into right. And that's a shot by Bobby Cano. This could be a double. Running first. Throwing to second. Throw goes to second, and he's going to be and safe. Three and two to Suzuki. Now here's a comeback Comebacker. Right to the mound. Oh, and it's oh my gosh. And now, Keiko, are you serious? Look at Keiko with the base hit. All right, look at that guy. Going up the middle. With decent contact. He singled his last time up. There's one of the disadvantages right there to the ground rule double rule. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to be a two-run single. But Jeff McNeil making things 5-0 here in the fourth. Mr. Clutch, Jeff McNeil with another great base hit for the Mets. Side is retired. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager. Unable to completely trap it. That's a swing and a miss from Eaton. Out number two. There's a base hit up the middle. I'm going to have you on around second. Oh boy. He's going to be gone. No, he's actually safe. <clears throat> That is a risky play that I did with Jonas. Should have just kept them. Uh, well, I thought it was just, should have just kept them at. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just talking about the heads up play he did. And all of a sudden he's injured. What the hell? That's what he gets for. Uh, that's what he gets for trying too hard. That's going to be base hit, so one run will score. That's Kurt Suzuki with a single and an RBI. They'll play ball. Out second. Out of first. They got them out of a semi-difficult situation. That's a round of horn double play for the Mets. And we're going to the bottom of the sixth. This is line to McNeil with another hit. That's his third. Ooh, Hugo with a strikeout getting Gomes on a on a two seam fastball with way inside. Just a second RBI. Come on. And he connects with this one's hit deep out to Oh, it's a home run actually! I thought it was just a pop-up. That's a three-run home run for Dominic Smith. That's his first of the year. Alright. 
Go on opposite field. I did not, I did not expect that to go over. I am actually a little bit surprised. I went over. All right, Dominic Smith. That's what I like. Came in for a pinch hitter. For Lugo. And Dominic Smith drives the opposite field, as I said. Surprise me. It just looked like every team pop up to me, but... Right into... Uh, right in front of uh, the Great Wall flushing. Into... Lucky fans' hands. That's a good base hit by Alonzo. I can't make it, so it's going to be a double for Pete Alonzo. The double, as I said, for Pete Alonzo, and that is number 17 of the year for Pete. Making good contact, using his power right above the left fielder. That is a no doubter for Michael Conforto taking the 3 2 count. Upper deck shot. It's going to be 10 to 1 Mets. And what a bomb by Michael Conforto. Wow. Let's get that on replay as he meets Alonzo at home base. Oof. Just absolutely destroyed it. Take a look here. Call a dream scenario. Oof. Absolute nightmare. Three two count. Two outs. A power pitcher on the no problem. A power hitter at the plate. A plus B wow. Makes it to the stands in the back, and that is far. That's gonna give away an at bat in any game ever. Nice piece of hitting right there. Staying with it. Right. Should be a team play. Out of first and the ball game's over. And Mets win 10 to 1 behind the big bats. Oh, the entire team. They got a three-run home run by Alonzo, a three-run home run by uh, by Dominic Smith. Also, I think two home runs by, or home run rather, by Conforto. And an overall well-pitched game, excuse me, by uh, Dallas Keuchel. Six innings pitch, three strikeouts, two, two walks, six hits, and one earned run. Uh, I can't ask for a better performance by the entire team. Um, so, that's all I can really say. Uh, but Kaiko is now 13 and 3. Patrick Orbis is now 10 and 6. Obviously, not a save because of the, the giant run deficit. And Jonas Suspiris sustained an injury uh, out for two weeks. All right, that's fine. It's better than it's better than a long-term type thing. So I'm gonna put him to the to the DL or the 10-day DL, and we can move somebody up for just a little bit. Let's see who I can call up in terms of outfielders. You got Roger Davis. Juan Lagarde is doing really well actually in my leagues. So I might call him up. I'll definitely call him up. Uh, who will go back down when U.S. gets back? I don't know. Um, it all depends on how everyone's doing and who is thriving in that available spot. So I'm going to put Juan Lagarde center field and then put Nimmo in left. I think that's the smartest thing to do. Uh, on Only because he is right now a better player uh, at center field. And let's see, let's see. Where is he? Okay. I think it should be all right. Gomez not exactly doing the best right now, which is very disappointing because. You know, I've always been a fan of him, even when he was, uh, even when he was a Met first time. I was a big fan of his, so it just thinks that, you know, he's not doing too well with me. But uh, here we are. We're going to advance. Actually, is it? Uh, where are we now? Yeah, we're gonna advance. Okay. So we're going to be doing the August 13th game next episode. So again, don't forget to subscribe and click that thumbs up button. Um, subscribing will let you know whenever I come out with a new video. But if you want a notification, click that bell right next to the, uh, right next to the subscribe button. It'll literally give you a notification on your phone, on YouTube, whatever. 
uh, whenever we come out with a new video on the spot. So yeah, don't forget to click that. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.